our channel. I hope you're all well and having a great day. Today we're going to speak about the Newcastle United news, but before we get to that, could you just do me a massive favour and please consider to subscribe to my channel. It would help me loads. It doesn't cost anything. It's free, completely free. So if you could do me a massive favour, smash that button down below, that would be great. Also give the video a like, that would be fantastic. Get to my channel more recognised around YouTube and you do me a massive favour, so thank you. Let's get the news people. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope it's all well. Newcastle United have just had a bid rejected for Joao Pedro, the Brazilian player from Watford. I was hearing it was a £20 million um, bid. It's been rejected about half an hour ago. This player has a striker, he plays for Watford um, in the Championship at the moment in time because he's got relegated last season. What I know about this player is he's got good runs, um, great with his feet, um, he's got an eye for goal, good with his head and dribbling as all Brazilians are. Um, there's been tweets from Sky Sports News um, and Keith Downey has said Newcastle have had an offer for Watford for Pedro turned down according to Sky Sports News. Understand Newcastle offered around 17 million for the Brazilian attacker. And then goes on to say Watford stands in Pedro and is not for sale. The 20 year old scored at St James Park last season and can play through the middle or on the sides. Watford have already lost Emmanuel Dennis to Nottingham Forest over the weekend. So they will not want to lose another one of their best players. Because surely what fellow want to keep the best players and get promoted back to the Premier League. There's another tweet here as well from Dharma Sheaf, Sky Sports News. Watford reject 20 million bid from Newcastle United for forward Pedro. Told he's not for sale. But we all know people that people have always got a price. And I believe that will go back in. I'm hearing that we're going to go back in with an, a never improved offer. So we'll have to wait and see um, how much that is. Uh, I would say probably 25, 27 maybe coming with that, see what happens. Um, got a little bit of stats on him here. Um, not much about him really because he's only 20. Because he used to play in Brazil and um, then he came to Watford. Uh, he's played in the Premier League for Watford last season. He had 28 matches, just only 3 goals and 1 assist. So it's not really looking that good for that bit. And in the Championship... The season before that, he had 38 matches, 9 goals and 2 assists. So, his goals aren't that hard, but you've got to realise he's only 20 still. He's still developing, and I think he'd be an outstanding backup um, for Callum Wilson. Because he's only 20, uh, makes sense. He's the potential's there. He's Brazilian. Also, we all know that Bruno and Joe Linton, they're Brazilian, so he'll fit in nicely. You know, Agent Bruno will get in his yard. I'm sure they'll get him a full call tonight. Um... Yeah, I think Bruno will suck them in, tell them the dream. Um, and I think this could be a great addition to our, our um, attacking options because, you know, we've got rid of Dwight Gale, we need to replace him. And I think this guy looks decent. And um, I truly believe he'd be interested because he, he want to play in the Championship when he can play in the Premier League for Newcastle United and where we are now with the potential and the new owners. I think he'll be interested. The wages shouldn't be a problem. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens on this one, people. Um, let me know in the comments underneath. Um, do you get excited by this potential new signing? Um, let me know underneath. That would be great. If you go so like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Just a quick look there on this player for you, people. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for now. But I'll let you know if there's more things come alive in the next few days or any new bids or whatever. You'll be the first ones to know. Um, I'll leave it there, people. See you on the next one.